Hi everyone, today I have another five school or work lunch ideas for you which I've also set out as a weekly plan. In my last video like this, some of you suggested that I try stainless steel containers, so I got these ones from Elephant Box. They come in a range of shapes and sizes, some of them are designed to hold liquids like smoothies, and they can fit separately in the large lunchbox. They're pretty amazing. So Monday's lunch, or just idea number one, is a tomato and olive pasta salad with nut butter and granola apple wedges. If anything needs cooking for lunch the next day, I always think it's best to cook it the night before. So here, cook one cup of penne pasta. Once it's done, drain it and leave it to cool before then dividing it between two containers with two thirds in one and one third in the other. Come the morning, transfer the larger amount of pasta into a mixing bowl and then in a food processor blend together eight sun-dried tomatoes one jarred roasted red pepper or you could roast a red pepper yourself six large green olives one small handful of fresh basil one heaped tablespoon of nutritional yeast one teaspoon of dried herbs half a teaspoon of chili flakes and some black pepper. Mix that together until smooth for around three minutes. Again, transfer two thirds of the paste into the bowl of pasta and then put the other third into a small container and place it in the fridge. Mix the paste through the pasta and place it back into the original container. Shred up some romaine lettuce to go with it and add a quarter of a chopped cucumber on top. I just put this in the little side section gap and then if you wanted to tip the pasta out into the large box with the salad to mix it all together then you can. And then for the apple wedges, divide an apple into segments, spread some nut butter onto each wedge and then press some granola onto each one. I actually use the lid of the pasta container upside down as a little tray. It's a snug fit in the large lunch box so it won't slide about but it also keeps the pasta covered underneath. I love pasta salads, I find them really filling and this paste is so versatile, you can use it for so many things. The apples are great too, after lunch or even just to snack on throughout the day. So for Tuesday's lunch, all for idea number two is a vegan Greek salad with chips and dip. To a large bowl, add in six halved cherry tomatoes. I found these amazing bright orange ones. Another quarter of a chopped cucumber left over from the day before six sliced green olives, half a cup of chickpeas which are gonna act as the feta cheese, they have a really similar texture, half a small red onion sliced into rings, one small handful of fresh chopped parsley, one teaspoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of dried herbs and some salt. Mix that together well and then transfer two thirds of that into a container and place the other third in the fridge. Take the remaining paste from the fridge in the pot from the day before and add that to the lunchbox with a large handful of blue corn chips that can be scooped into the dip. I also added in some fresh fruit. I took a satsuma and I filled one of the gaps with the segments and I also added in a snack bar. This one is by Primal Pantry and it it was their almond and cashew raw paleo bar which is so delicious but these come in so many amazing flavors this is just such a great vegan alternative to a greek salad as i say the chickpeas are so similar in texture to what would be the feta cheese you can skip the onion if you don't fancy that for school and work and this is essentially just a little snack box with a bit of everything so for wednesday's lunch or idea number three is a cheese and tomato pizza and a greek salad pasta take the leftover greek salad from the day before and the leftover pasta from Monday's lunch and mix them both together well in a mixing bowl. Then transfer that back to the original pot. Then to make the pizza, preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius. Mix one cup of sifted chickpea flour with half a cup of water, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of olive oil and a little salt in a bowl until it almost forms a paste. Scoop that out onto a lined baking tray and spread it out evenly with a spatula around 15 centimeters in diameter and a quarter of an inch thick. Place that in the oven to bake for around 15 minutes. Then remove it from the oven and for a really quick pizza base sauce, spread on some tomato paste evenly. Then add on some sliced tomatoes and place it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. When it's done, remove it and leave it to cool before sprinkling over some nutritional yeast and some fresh herbs. I used parsley, but you could use basil. And then just slice it in half. 
I actually wrap mine in some baking paper just to keep it even more fresh and this doesn't even need to be made up on the same morning. You can prep this the night before and store it in the fridge to save time. You could finish this lunch with some fresh fruit but I took these the Giving Tree Strawberry Crisps which are actually freeze dried strawberries but they still contain the same amount of nutrition as fresh strawberries and they're really handy to take on the go in this little packet. Thursday's lunch or idea number four is a sushi quinoa box with fresh mango. Cook half a cup of rinsed quinoa the night before in one cup of boiling water. Once it's cooked leave it to cool and then divide it between two containers. Place those both in the fridge overnight and then in the morning in a larger mixing bowl add a quarter of a cucumber chopped into cubes, half an avocado chopped into cubes and a quarter of a teaspoon of wasabi and carefully mix that together. Section the quinoa into one corner of the container and then add in the cucumber avocado mix. Tuck some cut up nori sheets in the side and then splash over some tamari and sprinkle over some regular sesame seeds and some black sesame seeds. This is really nice with some fresh mango so I cut one of those in half and then using this glass trick I scooped out the flesh. I then sliced that up into fingers and placed those in the side of the box with a large handful of raw almonds. The sushi box is a great way to get all of the flavours and textures of sushi just in a really quick and easy deconstructed form. You can also make this with brown rice if you wanted to instead of the quinoa. Either way it's really filling. Friday's lunch or for the last idea is a coconut and mango quinoa salad with nori rolls. Take the other container of cooked quinoa out of the fridge and then place that in a large bowl. Then add in the other half of the mango left over from the day before chopped into cubes. One sliced spring onion one small handful of coconut flakes and a small handful of roasted cashew nuts. Mix that together well and then add in a small handful of chopped fresh coriander and mix it together again. Add that back into the original container and place it in the lunch box. Then take a nori sheet and spread out cucumber slices on three quarters of the sheet. This was around half a cucumber altogether. And then also place the leftover half an avocado from the day before in a line around one inches into the sheet. Sprinkle over some regular sesame seeds and some black sesame seeds and then roll the end of the wrap closest to you over the avocado all the way to the other end, tucking it in as tight as possible. You can then just seal the opposite end down with a little bit of water and it will stick together. Cut that in half and you have two of these little nori wraps which can be placed in the box too. You can also add in a little pot of tamari for dipping as well if you want. I then took some of these Nutri Seed chocolate coffee beans which I'm obsessed with in the smallest container. You could use chocolate raisins instead if you wanted to. I also placed in a banana crunch naked bar too as another snack and I took a bottle of this Chi Raw Coconut Water which is pink because it's high in active antioxidants it's pretty cool and that is it I hope you found this video helpful and I will have all of the recipes written up in the description box below for you thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye